Hey guys, how are we doing? I have just started a Blitz tournament and I'm going to be trying out my new repertoire which in the case of being white is the Goering Gambit. This is the Goering Gambit. So rather than the Vienna, which is all well and good. Um, ha! I can take the pawn now with tempo. If I play queen here, he has takes the discovered check. There's no reason whatsoever to do that. And I don't mind having the isolated pawn. This is all about rapidity. Now, if queen b3 now, um, he doesn't have knight a5 with a fork on queen. But I think... No, queen d5? Queen d5 is, is going to bring his queen out here anyway to defend, yeah? Um... And I can't, I can't take the bishop. Maybe I'll just castle for now. Might not be the right thing to do. Okay, he wants the castle, clearly. Um, okay. Is there a sack here? No, because I might have actually had the sack on the last move. No, because the bishop's not hanging. Okay, let's push through. I need to be a bit quicker here. Opponent is rated 100 points high. So this is like a 1300 to 1500. Uh, or 1200 to 1500, which is pretty cool. Okay, I, I've, I've messed this up by being too slow, I think. But we're just getting going. So hopefully we'll do like an hour of um, of blitz and see how we get on. That's defended. The knight is pinned. This is not great. Okay, let's just drop back. Keep the pin on the knight and invite the double kick. Okay, he's not gone for that. Let's open things up in the middle. This pawn's also pinned, notice. Okay, if I take now, I'm a pawn down, but we both have an isolated pawn. I have, mm, I don't know, I, I, I struggle to um, justify my position right now. I'm just going to do this, I think. I'm definitely uh, not fully awake yet. But it's okay, this is our warm-up game. Simon Williams always loses his first game on a tournament. And if, it, you're, if you're good enough to play the game of the year, as Simon did in Reykjavik, I think, then uh, it's all good. Um, that would be great, but it's defended by half the army. I think I'm just... Oh, hang on. This this is hanging if I do that. Ah, oh, annoyances. Yeah, I've got queen takes. I've got knight takes. I think queen takes. And they leave the knight in place there. It's happy there. It's defending h2. Which has got eyes on it. Compare it my knights, but again, oh, he just wants to simplify, doesn't he? This might not be bad for me, though. If he takes, and I take back with a takes b3, I've then got b4 pushing the bishop away. I don't know. But I'm going to have to speed up. Um, I've got knight d2 pairing up my knights, maybe knight e4 hitting the queen. He stopped for a think now, hasn't he? Okay, he's coming in here. Um, if I take the bishop, he's got queen takes. If I take the knight, this actually comes with a royal fork, so I'm going to take first. Then I might play rook there. I can't do it straight away, though. Can't do it straight away. Um, how do I 
defend that on there. Can't do this because bishop takes the pawn. That's a real right pain, that is. Let's trade these off. This pawn is undefended. Going to do... It's got two attackers on there. So let's pin this pawn again. Defend this pawn a second time. I might just have to give up the pawn some... Uh, something, I don't know. Here. If you push there, I'm quite happy. So my pawn is saved. I'd like to... I, could, I suppose I can do this, and then the knight is free. Knight might find its way to f3. Down to under a minute, though. Okay. That's my ideal move. Um, yeah, he's got queen here, but then king h1. And I'm also threatening this now. Wow, well, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, back to the tournament. Okay, so there's seven rounds, and we're all going to be paired. Where am I? Where am I? Number 12. Equal 12. So basically, everyone who's equal first has won their first game. And everyone else is equal 12. Then there's still three or so games to, to run. So this is like a Swiss, I guess, with, with rounds. Rather than just like an open uh, arena. So I'd like to get back over 1,400, if I can. So let's just, um, if I can, have a quick, quickest review of that. Yeah, our opponent had a brilliant move. That was just too good. 80 accuracy. I mean, that's 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 very decent. Okay. And now castles was best. Okay. Knight g7 is a mistake. And e4 is a miss. What should I have done? Gone in for the kill. Ah. Whoa. Oh. Got to remember that square for queen h5. Okay, all good, all good, right. We're waiting for an opponent, that's fine. Yeah, so, but you know, my opening was all right. I just, I just played generally worse. My opponent played extremely solidly throughout. Um, what can you do? Interestingly, I looked up what was I, I was kind of going through my previous repertoire or my current repertoire and seeing how it's changed, and I looked up all like the Smith Mora games that I that I played all the, all the wins, and out of eighty two, I think there were, um, I noticed that I think three out of eighty two opponents have since been banned, which is quite a high rate. That's like three to four percent. Say three and a half percent of the players that I've played just in that particular you know, subsection, that sample, have been banned. And it just goes to show you how uh, how frequent it is the the old cheating. It is a a plague on the game for sure. So how many games are still going? Well, this guy's still playing, but who's he playing? Because okay, here we go. Fourteen seventy one now. Bloody hell, I've got another 1400. I'm struggling against 1400s at the moment. My highest in blitz is 1599. Okay, let's go. 
Italian. Russo. Okay. And this is the centre fork line, isn't it? I don't I don't think knight c3 is, is the way to go. And he's figured that out. If he takes, he gets d5 now. So, um, so I can now play this. I defend this, and I'm also lining up d5 again with tempo against the bishop. d5 with tempo. This is all good. Okay, this defender, defender, defender. Takes and queen takes. Let's develop the bishop to this square anyway. Uh, whatever. I've, I've also got pawn takes, but I think queen takes because that allows me to castle. And my queen can... Ah, I gave up pawn. Not the smartest move, precious. Where are you from? Kosovo. I've got I've got a castle now, right? Surely. Line up my rook against the queen. If if he takes here, for I can just move the queen with tempo, doing whatever I want. If I take, uh, queen can't take because my bishop's then on it. So his bishop or pawn. Okay, he's used the pawn. This knight is now un, not pinned. Um, this hits the bishop. If I kick the bishop there, can it go there, there, or this? If knight takes, queen takes. They're hitting the bish. I, th I think this looks all right. Probably higher likelihood of. So if you oh, take ski. Okay, right. I'm hitting g two. You're gonna castle. Are you? I've got two eyes on this pawn though. I've got the bishop pair, you've only got knights left. And it's a wide open board. See, sometimes, like, you know, when I'm playing well, I can beat a 1470 with my hands tied behind my back. When I'm not on form, I can't. Okay. It's a free pawn, isn't it? King defends the rook, so I can move the bishop now with pretty much impunity. Okay, what's your game? Okay, queen's not really causing any, any trouble there. I'm inclined to bring my bishop here, maybe. Just line it up against that. That means the queen's no longer defending this one, but I, I've got ideas of this. We're all about the bishops, okay. He's on three minutes. Oh, my fly's back. I've now got three fly strips around the bloody office. Achieving nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, so the idea is to move the knight with an overwhelm on this bishop. But I think I can probably afford to capture here. Now, I've also got this. The bishop first checkmate pattern, which is quite rare, but definitely uh, worth considering. Okay, let's let's have a go at that. I mean, how does he stop this? This doesn't work. Queen goes in. How on earth are you going to stop the queen going in? This bishop takes. I'm hitting the queen. He's going to take this now, isn't he? Okay, but I'm plus two here. I'm plus two. I've got more time on the clock. Are we trading? Or do I just go back there and make him trade? Make him use his clock. Make him think. Okay. So there goes his knight. Let's stop his knight from going there. Oh, there goes one of my pawns.
Right, I was rushing there. Don't. Don't rush. Okay, what I want to do... I think I'm going to have a, a fertile over here. Maybe Rook F8 targeting this. Um, this is undefended. King defends. Always just got to be spotting what's defended and what's not. Okay, I'll trade there because he's got three pawn islands, yeah, and I have the bishop. Okay, that was that was uh, a bit silly, wasn't it? I'm still a pawn up. Are you going to trade? No. He elects not to trade. Hitting the knight, hitting this, so he has to go back here to defend both, yes? I'm also threatening check, though, which forces that. And then, doesn't this win the rook? Boom! <sighs> Tactics. Uh, I think I'm going to win a pawn here. I think I am. Throwing a checkity doo -dah. Attack here. I might come here anyway. If he pushes, I can take, 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 actually. He's in a little trouble now. Um, okay. All right. But your knight is in the way, and the knight can't move with checks. I think we're actually... I, I'm, I'm one step ahead, aren't I? In this foot race, but hang on. I'm really bad at end games. This is what I've learned recently. I'm shocking. Okay, now... I'm going to be here. So I promote... Uh, it's got to be winning. Yeah, he promotes. But now I've got, for example, check here. No! So I checked whether mine would come with check. My promotion came with check and forgot to check if his did. Curses. Bugger. Bugger that right in the ear. Told you I was shit at end games. Winning, winning, winning. Right here. This is where it all went wrong. Okay. I just I just ran for the line. Right? A completely winning position up to that point. Um and what I should have done. Hmm. Threatening to just to come behind that pawn. That's all I have to, you know, what you have to do is you, with endgames, you've got to just simplify it, you've got to boil it down to, if my opponent's going to win this game, what's going to happen? And I just didn't even register that his promotion came with check, although my king's there, right? This is what I've got to, all right, I'm going to go back over Chess Bootcamp Live, I'm going to go back over Craig's endgame fundamentals, because that was brilliant, brilliant stuff. Enter the code TRIAL in caps to get your first month for $9, of course. <sighs> right, complete donkey. 1366 now, am I? Yep. Back to the tournament. There's still a few games going on. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's three games going on. Maybe just two games going on now. Okay, we're on to another one. Okay, we've got white again. We'll go e4. Opponents from Georgia. And what are we going to get? Is it going to be Sicilian? Is it going to be e5? Is it going to be a French? Is it going to be a Scandinavian? I'm seeing loads of Scandinavians at the moment, by the way. 
What, what, what's going on here? Who's, who's suddenly come out promoting the Scandinavian? Um, an opponent hasn't, hasn't realised that he's in, in a game. Come on, mate. You feel like uh, Conor McLeod of the Clan McLeod saying, Fight me, damn you. What are you doing? Well, he's used a minute of his time. Come on, mate. There's people sitting at home with their cuppa in their hand going, what am I watching? Fucking paint dry. What's going on? Three minutes 50. Okay, I might flag him. It's a tactic. No, it's a strategy, really, isn't it? There's a difference between a strategy and a tactic. Strategy is a kind of a long-term what you want to achieve, and a tactic is short-term how you get there. So a, a strategy in a battle might be, okay, so what we need to do is we need to gain control over that hill, for example. And then the tactics are going to be, okay, well, you're going to go that way and deflect that group of soldiers off in that direction while the cavalry come around the back and that's tactics. Do you know what I mean? Okay, well, this is now two minutes used. I might get my first win. But it's a, uh, a hollow victory. Unless he's decided to go berserk, which doesn't actually happen on chess.com. It's a Lee Chess thing. Well, he should have really just like quit the uh, the tournament if he wasn't going to take part. Okay, he's used nearly one half of his time now. Maybe he'll turn up in a minute and go, sorry, extra cup of coffee. Beth Harmon, Harry Beltic. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Might have to fast forward this bit. Should we pre move d4? Just for giggles. The point is if he plays the Sicilian, it's the Smith Moore Gambit. If he plays e5, it's the centre game. You know, Danish Gambit, which he's not going to be able to defend in a minute and a half. If he plays. E6, the French, then D4 is a very typical move. If he plays G6, it's a typical move. Now, if he plays Knight F6, maybe I blunder pawn, I don't know. Well, I do blunder pawn, but I don't think he's here. So, can you play E4, D4 against absolutely anything black does? I don't know. It's, pr it's probably some gambit or other. Let's have, let's have a fertile. Um, let's have a quick look on Leech's Explorer. Because he's, he's not coming back. Okay, so the, the, the Omega Gambit. And it's, it's crap. Because, <laughs> yeah, they take and White's just got nothing. Bishop d3 is commonly played. And the knight just goes back. And then black goes on to win. Yes, so absolutely, absolutely catastrophic and terrible. Okay, 18 seconds. Well, maybe he's a bullet player. So, not all gambits are have a point to them. Well, that was rubbish. Woohoo! I'm not going to bother with a game review. Was he a good sport? Don't know. I can't put anything in. Okay. 
So, where are we in the start? Oh, look, I'm 24th place out of 48 players. Oh, I'm hot. I'm mid middle of the pack. Only two players, two 1400s have won all three of their games. I've only won one. Um, but then there's a whole load of people who are still playing game three. Because they've got two players. Um, and and some of these guys, I guess, I don't know, joined late. I don't know. We shall see. So how many games are still going? Quite a few games going. Uh, let's just have a let's have a nosy at one. Secures the bishop. They've both got two minutes on the clock. So that's how long we're going to have to wait. I'm going to switch lines off. I don't want that kind of nonsense going on. Just push up, I guess. Now if they push, they can take. Um, King can't go there. He can always burn a move like this. Well, we can't push because takes. That's out of the question. Okay, so he's burned a move for the king. He can always come here. There we go. All right. And, but now, yeah. Okay. You run with this one now. Oh. Oh, go the wrong way. Do apologise. Now it's mate in 15. There we go. Resigns. Wonderful. How many games are still going? One or two, one or two. Let's see how B, B Bieber is doing. <sighs> okay, so white's winning, obvs. That doesn't work. So he's, he's only slightly up actually, he's only a pawn up. They've both got a knight, both got a bishop. That hangs your queen. Rook takes. Now black's winning. You can't take the knight because it's a back rank check problem. Oh dear, B Bieber. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, two or three games still going. Wow. Okay, three attackers. White is winning, you take this pawn, right? And threaten to push this one maybe with a discovery, but bishop's not defended, so maybe then queen d3. Okay. The Slav Indian defense. Not heard of that one. It's quite fun, this guessing game. Yeah, that was my follow-up move. Okay, 10 seconds for white. Black can just dick about now. He's got 25 seconds, just, just come here now, whatever. Huh, I'm like a top guesser. I don't know. He's going to win on time anyway. Well, that hangs the rook, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Looks like we're going to get ready for our next round. How can you still be playing? Okay, got black. 
against the 1254. What are we going to play? What are we going to get? If we get a d4, I'm going for that. Um, oh! Please play London. No! Okay, Indian, I'm going e6. And this is the Nimzo Indian defense. Never really played it in my life. Okay, I'm threatening to take the knight, but we're not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to push d6, I think, and just make a really solid defense here. Let's castle. I might even fianchetto this bishop. Look at that. It's a very nice... Yeah! Now the queen has to... Okay, you've added more defense there. Knight bd7. I'm waiting for him to push a3. I'm not going to go... not going to... Capture the knight unless forced to. Okay, um, let's push a5. Now I capture the knight. Now we mess up his pawns. Okay, I can stick my knight right up into his face here. There we go. Uh, now the queen's no longer on that, but what can we do here? Let's push f5 feel like my opponent kind of knows what to do. Pushing this pawn would be not great. Not great at all. Okay. I um, think we just improved the queen. If I come here, he's got knight h4. I might do this. Just try and squeeze the breath out of that bishop. And there's always this constant threat of... Hang on. So if I push here, he gets this. If I take, he gets the bishop. If I take with this pawn... He can capture there if he wants to. Okay, but here I have... Knight takes, I guess. Improves the knight. I'm not scared of that. Why am I scared of that? Can't come in there, can't come in there, can't come in there. Can't come in there. That's not scary at all. Also, I've got maybe ideas to put my bishop on here because the queen and the rook are in line. So, can I... Um, uh, material is equal. Let's do this. Now, if knight takes, I have to take back. Oh, okay. But that f does fall to this. Bishop can block. So he's going to have to give up an exchange. You know, if the bishop blocks, I'll take. With the knight, because the knight was on priest. Okay, so we want an exchange there, and I'm going to take the knight and do this as well. Um... Okay, I'm only slightly up. I'm up in exchange, but he's got an extra pawn, yet his pawns are in a mess. I have three minutes on the clock. Let's not be too hasty. Undefended. 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 There's quite a lot of undefended stuff around the place. I've got, for example, rook here. Looks quite good. Putting two attackers on this pawn. I'm expecting this move. I've got e5. I think I have e5. Oh, he's got this check, of course. Um, Okay, he's tucking my pawn. Let's just put the pawn there. Then I might play, you know, rook a, b, a, or... Okay, my queen can come in, my queen can come here. Okay, that's, that's not a biggie. I'm putting my king on a light square. You're attacking my queen. I hear you. Okay. No, she can't go in at all. Um... Let's try and swap off some brooks. Okay. 
may even do something like this. Queen can comes there, but there's no real future. Here and here, she's got. That might be that might be interesting. Am I vulnerable there? I mean, the queen taking on here is that's that's a key thing, isn't it? Uh, so how about this? Just to put an end to that. That's a real threat. King has to move. The rook is undefended. It's a skewer. Rook gets rook gets lost. Attacking. That's defended by the king here. King can go there now. All right. Let's let's throw it in anyway. I've got a pawn on h3, haven't I? Yeah. Also defending this actually, which is quite nice. King Queen are in line, so there's going to be a rook showing up on d8 sometime soon. Not anymore. Could still though. Let's just annoy the queen. Opponent's got plenty of time. He's got two minutes ten. Okay, and now. Um, Queen's still attacking that pawn. I'm going to annoy you again. Oh, you can take that pawn, look. She hasn't noticed. Oh, that, would, that wouldn't be the cleverest idea. Okay, here. Threatening that pawn. Alright, there. I may even just come in like this. And put a big question to white. Right, now it's maybe time to keep the queen there to defend this pawn and just, I don't know, use my rooks. Get a rook on the open file, get it back there somehow. Got to make something happen, haven't I? It's a light square as well, which is an advantage. I, I don't think I want to move, change this whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to attack this. Let's swap the queens off. Oh, it hangs a rook, but... Okay, how are we looking? Equal material. Okay, so now it's time for another display of endgame folly. I think he should be pushing his past pawn, but... I'd love to get my rook there. Okay, that stops the pawn coming forward and stops the rook from maybe grabbing there. So, notice the king can't approach here. So I'm going to try and get my king maybe to like here. Centralize him a bit. Opponent's on 106, I'm on 49 seconds. Okay. Right, my king can't get through either right now. This is important. If I go forward, he's going to come in there. So I'm going to go sideways. Uh, I can't attack that pawn either, which is annoying. But if that, then his king is stuck because he can't... Ooh, okay. You, you've really got to come in there now, haven't you? Okay. There. I'm on 30 seconds, though. Got to, yeah, he's got to go back there. This is annoying. Okay, now I'm going to come. Yeah, so we talked about this, didn't we? Okay, I'm gonna, he can't take that pawn, by the way. If he takes this one, I'm taking there. If he doesn't, I'm coming here. Okay. You can't take this pawn. Good. Could push there. Let's do this. 13 seconds now for me. 
Um, okay, a repetition. Yeah, he played quite well there. Let's have another quick look at the end game, though. I really have identified a big weakness here. So, I, hang on. So, I, I, obviously, there's a couple of winning opportunities there. That blunder. How did how did it? Oh, for f crying out loud! Right, right. Everyone else is still playing, but look of it. So that was a draw. So where are we in the old list? Where are we? 18th with one and a half out of four. That's not brilliant, is it? 18th out of 48 players, but... Ronald Gunteng is the only one who's uh, got four out of four. Did I play him? Let's see. Pull up my profile. No. Not played that one. I'm on 1370. So red band 1T. Oh, hello. Oh, is this our next game? Sorry, I was uh, miles away. Oh, that's why it said I was playing. Yeah, because ours went right down to the wire. Oops, so I've just burned a minute there. That was unfortunate. Okay, so we are going this. We're, we're going to stick with the uh, Goering. I'm less than a minute behind now. Do we take? What are you going to take? What are you going to do? I mean, if he doesn't take, I'm just going to capture in the, in the middle. I'll have a good centre. Well defended pawn on d4. Well, that doesn't work, because I take now and you, you can't capture. You lose a piece if you capture. You have a check that I can block. So apparently we've met before, or is that, or is that our tournament score? I think that's our tournament score, actually, not our... Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm going to bring my bishop out to this square anyway. Get my king safe, play a game of chess. I'm only 20-odd seconds behind now. The aim is to make non-mistakes. But it's easier said than done. Should I do it now? Let's develop and pin. Develop and pin the knight. I might attack him. Takes, takes, my queen is undefended. Slightly annoying. Uh, takes, takes. No real knight option there. Come on, what are you going to do? My queen's the only defender of that. So let's go for a non castling option. King here, rook g1. I think I'm safe from a pawn trap there. Might push f4. Okay, let's get a rook on c1. Because it's semi open. Might kick this guy away. 20 seconds behind on the clock. Let's kick him again. Okay, now, 
What have we got? Kick the knight? No, not really. Let's just add more pressure to the bishop. Hang on, he's got two attackers on here. Knight back defends. Here he can't go there, there, or there. Is he going to go there, hit my bishop? Not really convinced. Oh, about that. That's quite good. And then I can attack him. Okay. Um, if I take knight takes... Let him take, and then I've got pawn takes. But then he's got three attackers on there, but the knight is... Uh, yeah. The knight's pinned. So if knight takes, he loses his queen. If queen takes, knight takes queen. So neither works. So you can't take with the knight and you can't take with the queen. There's two more rounds to go on this. Okay. Attack the pin piece. Knight takes, pawn takes. Might even castle still. You never know if I need to get... This looks like the C and D are the action areas, yeah. The knight's pinned, so can't go nowhere. Okay. Still attacking the pin piece. Queen. Probably trade. Rook takes. Takes. Pawn takes. Messed up pawns. Rook takes pawn. I want to get my king out of dodge, really, don't I? Okay, I'm going to take with the king, and I'll tell you for why, because I don't want to lose my queen. There we go. Um, probably can do that. Yep. Rook h e1, try and trade off. The knight is still hanging. Bishop defends queen, so I can take with the pawn. It'd be nice to actually win a game, wouldn't it? I'm now up on the clock. I'm now up 30 seconds. Check it out. My opponent is lower rated than me. And also 250 points less than my best at Blitz. But this is not my best at Blitz. Doesn't work, but nice idea. A queen here. Baggity bang. There's no way to block it. Queen here pins his pawn on the queen. Okay. Interesting. I come here. Oh, it's two attackers on the bishop. Oh, look at that. And it moved with check, you see. That's the difference. He's got out of a pin by moving the pinned piece with check. So that was a silly move on my part, wasn't it? Very silly. But he's on 47 seconds, 46 seconds. And I'm still a piece up. Now he can he can grab this. Not with the knight, because that drops the queen. Also notice I've got double eyes on oh what's that? C seven. A potential check there. But twenty six, twenty five. Look at this, I burned a minute and I'm threatening to flag my opponent. Okay, I hit you. Okay, I'm coming here. Oh, it's a check. Sorry, well, wasting moves is fine. And certainly trading queens is great. Let's get the rook out. Uh, really is a very difficult situation to lose here. I pin the knight. Okay, I'll grab a pawn and pin the knight. Uh, yeah, that locks together. There we go. And I was winning as well, which is fair. So there we go. We go out on a, a win. Actually, there, I think there's two more rounds, which you'll have to endure. You don't have to, of course. But uh, that was fine.
Okay, this is uh, someone else's game. I'm on two and a half out of five now. So I'm, I'm on level pegging apart from there was one no show. But guys, that is tournament play. Never feel bad if your opponent screws up. Never feel bad if your opponent fails to show up. You know, that is that's the, that's the way it goes. I've got a 1307 here. He's got zero from five, unfortunately. Right, and nobody... Ronald's got a draw. No, Ronald's got a loss now. So nobody's got five from five. Two more rounds to go. Um, yeah, I can't. There's no way I can win this because... Uh, well, I'd need the guy who's in the lead now to lose both of his next games. And he's got four and a half out of five. I don't think that's going to happen. And I would need to win both of my next games, which... The way things are going, again, ain't going to happen. So how many games are uh, still running? Only a couple. Okay, BLB Rider, hello. We were watching him earlier. Go on, what are you going to do then? Okay, you are going to face the Freddy Krueger repertoire. If you play Knight F3. Why are you thinking about move two? Okay, the McLeod attacks. I'm going to go standard fair with uh, pawn to f5. And if pawn takes, I will just develop my knight. Okay, he's declined. I'm going to develop my knight anyway. This is now the Laza Gambit. Now, okay, he's attacking that pawn. I will defend here, I think. I have done something on the Laza Gambit before. I've got a slight issue with this bishop. Let's stick him here then. I just didn't want to put him here and, and walk into that. that. This is not an issue. Okay, I can now grab the center, I guess. I can, yeah. This, this bishop's just going to bide his time. Now, we are threatening to recapture our pawn. We're also getting ready to castle. Okay, so if you take, I take... I can castle. Takes, takes. Takes, takes. Okay, he's not done that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that makes the knight worse, but I might just swivel round into here. Never be... Never just immediately discount putting your knight on its home square. Its home square may be best. Okay, now, he's defending this pawn. But if I move this knight, for example, capturing that undefended pawn, I now have two attackers on it. And I'm going to capture now with tempo on the queen. Okay, that's attacking the undefended knight, so... This actually pins my bishop as well, in a way. Well, pins my knight on my bishop. So I'm, I'm actually considering c6. Is that just too weakening, though? Oh, he's also attacking this. Hang on. Oh, and the knight's pinned. Right, this it is, then. Best of a bad bunch. Queen takes b7. I might just stick my knight here. I think everything's kind of defended. Game on. Here I've got then two attackers. That's uh, possible. Hmm. If I come here, though, I'm not going to take with a rook, am I? I'm threatening to take. Yeah. I need a pawn attacking that, really. Knight has to move. Can't go there. C 
could go there. I mean, it's defended by the bishop. Attacked by me, defended by him. Um, but yeah, he gets kicked if he if he does that. All right. Uh, I just drop back. Sometimes you have to play ugly moves. This is okay. We're both on three minutes oh six. You you want my other bishop now, do you? Uh, okay, or that pawn. No, the pawn's defended by a pawn, so that's fine. Now I could, you know, just gently improve. Also pins this pawn. Also puts two attackers on this pawn. So that pawn is is under threat right now. Don't. Okay, there you go. He's he's noticed that. Um. But if I take a knight takes. Bang, and now the knight's going to be pinned. So is this pawn. Pinned, pinned. Okay, break the pin, that's fine. I've just won myself a pawn. Nothing to celebrate at this point. Maybe my knight here, I want to push my pawns up. Where's, where does the knight want to be? I think this is as good as any right now, particularly if there's going to be a pawn on there. So, right now it's defended three times and attacked twice. One, two. I see you. Let's hang that pawn. BLB rider. There's a song called BB rider, isn't there? That hits the queen. So queen has to take. I'm still up a pawn, so I'm just going to trade down. I don't see a problem here. Okay, I'd love. To, there's a long diagonal for checks now. But I can't really access it. I might come here. Defends that. That's defended. I might even do this. Try and get rid of the bishops as well. So this is the, the basically the imbalance on the board. Okay, so now I know that something's going to trade off. Oh, no, I don't. But I can throw in a check. And now this bishop's undefended. Unless you put your rook there, but it doesn't count, because if I take, you can't capture, because you'd be pinning it. Breaking a check with a piece pins the piece. We know this. But have I just blundered, mate? Yeah. Rubbish. Pants, Boba. What should I have done? Left the bishop there is the short answer. Uh, so in this situation, I have a slight edge about a pawn. Maybe something like this, I don't know. Yeah, that's the kind of move. That's what you get from Blitz, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I say all the time. And am I, by practicing Blitz, just practicing playing badly? I think so. I think so. White won that one, so Rabindra hasn't done that well. Uh, well I'm 15th out of 48. Not bad. Would have liked to have done a bit better than that, but there's still one round to go, so... You never know, never give up hope. If I win my next round, the highest I could get to might be ninth, but I'm still going to be outside the top ten, really. Realistically. Yeah, don't play Blitz, kids. It's that easy. Also, there's still a bunch of people playing who've got to register score, so I'm going to bounce down. I'm 16th now. What a numpty. What is that one? Oh, that's his game. I'm not, I don't want to see your analysis. And somebody's timed out. How exciting. 
Time 16th, there's still a handful of games going now. Let's see what Ronald's up to. Okay, Bishop defends that. This is Black's threat, but oh dear. Mirnov 56 is in time trouble. And that's mate in eight, apparently. That's checkmate. He's going to have to move the king out. He doesn't have to do much. Oh, he's let white promote, though. It's mate in two, four black. Come on, Black, you can do it. No, he can't. He's going to lose. Oh, no. Black one on... What? Black one on time. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, so it was white that was running out of time. Get it. <sighs> right, we've got one more game to go. What do you think we're going to get? Is it going to be London? I've, since doing that video on the London system, the Sweeney Todd thing, which is like awesome for beginner and intermediate level, no one's played the London system. Not one. Some days you can't move for the bloody London system. But it is only about one in five D4 games. So it's not. And yeah, D4 is less, still less popular than E4 at this level. Okay, we've got a 1303. Clocks are about to start. The arbiter is walking down, pressing buttons. And this is why we're going to go Goring Gambit again. Okay, the Scotch game. Now you've also got Scotch Gambits as well. If they take, you can go here, which is a bit kind of Vienna like, isn't it? You could even transpose, though, I guess. But this is like delaying the Scotch Gambit idea. Oh, hello. Well, I'm going to take. I don't. Not in High Reeds Castle, but I'm not a pawn down. I haven't gamuted a pawn here. And look, I've got a development lead. Quite a significant one, actually, and that doesn't stop me castling at all, so. Don't want to do this because after takes, I've only got F to take back with. Got bishop here. I've got knight here as well as a threat. Okay. I'll give you. Does this work? C3, I come back here. C6, right? Or, or bishop d7. You can almost pre-move that, but... The only things I ever pre-move is when there can be only one possible next move that would allow the pre-move, like a capture, recapture. There we go, the queen. Okay, now the knight needs to come round, because I think I'd, I'd like to support the bishop there. Always remember that if you lose your king's knight, for example, um, do I want to save that pawn? Am I bothered? Don't think so. I'm going to come after this bishop and annoy it a little bit. Because that's that would definitely be a worse square. It's on a good square now. I don't like where it is. Okay, fair enough. Pawn takes, takes check. Bishop blocks. Hmm. Okay, really wants to keep his bishop on that diagonal. I'm going to take here. Now, rook here. I might have to do something with this bishop. I don't know. There, at least it defends. And then I can move the bishop. First get the knight out of the way. Then get the bishop like here. Something like that. Still pin the knight, still perfectly valid move. 20 seconds up on the clock. 
I feel like I've got a reasonable amount of pressure going on. Dim 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 dicky dim dim. I've put my rook. Sod it, I'll just put it back. Okay. It's not that important. I still have this idea that that actually physically attacks the queen now. F6 is not is not legal. F, the F pawn is is uh, pinned. Ah, okay. I'll make you have a think now. Then still twenty seconds up on the clock. Trading bishops. I'm not really bothered about. This knight doesn't look great, does it now? Can't come there. Okay, so he's blocked the the attack effectively again, pinning his knight. Where does this rook want to be? Thinking about bringing my knight round as well. This knight can't take the pawn, so this knight is, re is relieved from its duties. I'm thinking of coming in here to attack the queen. He's attacked my queen. Very natural looking move there. Still 20 seconds up on the clock. Oh! There we go. Very natural looking move, but very poor, it turned out. Okay, well this at least takes some squares away from the queen. And wow, drops to a, a skewer. I'll take back with the queen. If I'd taken back with the rook, I'd have got another ske I mean skewer. Which would have been quite bad, actually, because I've got back rank threat as well. I'd have to move my queen to one side. Still 20 seconds up on the clock, but it's not really much use if you lose. Opponent is up a full rook. Did it, did it, could be possible. Apart from it's very well guarded right now. I've actually not eaten today, so I'm not eating because I've got uh, trying to reduce inflammation in my foot right now. Which is a topic for a whole nother day. I'm now nearly 40 seconds up. The Queen has to defend this, yeah? So let's go here. I might. I don't know if I can't want to go there. Queen f1, bishop here defends that, and then my queen's free to go about the cabin. It's putting extra pressure on the bishop. Does he want to go here? He can't. 40 seconds up again. He's down to 90 seconds. Ah, wow. Hell. Finding some good moves. Because Dippy over here just... He's not doing that great. Waste a move. 80 seconds now. Come on, how are you going to do this? You can't bring in that rook. I'm just going to hunker down now. Maybe do this and maybe dick about with the king. I'm not quite sure what that achieves. Does he want to do that? To get no, he can't. Well, yeah, he can. All right. Um, I hit you for no other reason. Then you've got 54 seconds on your clock. Okay. I come back here. Not sure what that bishop can do right now. 45 seconds. How does he get a win? Um, if I go there and bishop takes and queen takes, it's not quick enough. He's, he, he wants both of his rooks on, on there. And he can't put his rook there either. So, not sure about this. Thirty seconds. What's this? 
shenanigans. Okay, well, I'm not sure you're actually threatening much there. So we burn a move. Oh, you're threatening that. Yes. You see, see I'm not... I'm barely conscious. <laughs> but I'm having fun playing my favourite game. So, can't complain. And he's only got 17 seconds left on his clock. 17 seconds, a measure of time. Yeah. By the cure. Album. Free stuff. Um, free stuff. Get your free stuff here. Are you going to take out the rook and check maybe? Okay, cool. Well done. Uh, though the album was 17 seconds actually, yeah. So there you go. That was uh, all a bit of fun on a, what is it, a Sunday morning. And I'm all done. And finishing in 17th with two and a half out of seven. That was absolute bobar. Absolute bobar. But I promise to try harder next time. Also need to brush up on the end games. So, hope you enjoyed uh, portions of that. The brief glimpse, the brief moment of uh, reprise from the from the dreary chess. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.